Most people in the world have a love song in their heart, and that love song is really placed there for one person. And while we can have different relationships over a lifetime, different love relationships, different partners, different play partners, it's not the same as the one. The one is really the one, and the one is the one that God shows you is the one. And the one is the one for all the reasons that it's he or she is supposed to be the one for you. That literally you are equally yoked. That everything about that person really makes you shine. That everything about that person helps you to lose time. And that everything about that person is really what you want to make mine, or in your case, yours. The truth is that we have to know what is real and what is really real. What is really real is that God plans all relationships. What is really real is that God prophetically knows where everyone is at every moment of time. What we also know is that people tend to monkey up God's plans, and that doesn't do a lot for us in the world, other than monkey us. In life, we have most of the time to speak the truth, and the truth is the truth for me may not be the truth for you. And sometimes my truth is really way early, and your truth is way late. But eventually, the truths align. And when the truths align, everything is fine. In life, we have most of the time to say what is real. We also have the right to say what we feel. And sometimes, if we wait too long to get involved with where we're supposed to be on God's plan, we might end up losing the plan most of all. And what I mean by that is the best plan is the one that God's laid. But if we are delayed, if we try to put all kinds of caveats and, and conditions on God, He might just go, go okay, you don't like this plan that was supposed to make you millions, so we're just going to give you this plan that's only going to make you thousands. Because you didn't want to take the timing that I asked you, you decided to put your timing of the human world on you instead of my timing of God's world on you. You see, the problem with most people is that they don't like God's timing. Sometimes God's timing is fast, sometimes God's timing is slow, sometimes we need patience, and other times we need, well, impatience, I suppose, or just a quickness of ability to change. Most people's greatest difficulty is their unwillingness to change. Their unwillingness to change their mind, their unwillingness to change their heart, their unwillingness to change their soul, and most importantly, their unwillingness to change to submit to God. The minute you make that change, the minute you really decide that you're going to let your life be underneath God's light, everything changes. And I mean everything. And you might just start to glow, but at the same time, you'll know that God is with you at all times. What I'm talking about for me is that the woman that I love, the women that I have loved, always know that I have had God within me, and they have had God within them. But the truth is, in life, we have to be able to be willing to say to them, the people that we love, that God is first. And when God becomes first, our love liaison becomes second. And when God's love liaison becomes second, then we know what's right. But the liars of the land like to play in people's computers, they like to play in people's cell phones, they like to walk through the communities, they like to solicit, they like to lie, they like to steal, they like to cheat. And I'm not getting off track because I'm not into that. What I'm into is good, hard, solid, fashion, fun, family, and work. And in that order, basically, fun, family, and work is what works for me because spiritual work is fun for me. Family time is valuable to me. And work is what earns for me. 